Good morning. My name is Tyler Nelson, and I am a senior accounting major from Champaign, Minnesota. And for my accounting capstone project, I wanted to find a possible correlation between athletes and a, and a future successful career. I chose this topic because I'm a former athlete myself, and I wanted to find out whether the skills I learned playing playing sports possibly transfer over to to my career. Skills like work ethic, leadership, time management, dealing with others, and an abundant list of others, and see whether or not those skills that I learned at such a young age playing sports could possibly transfer over into my career. And pending my findings, I hope to encourage others to continually engage in, co in collegiate sports. So my specific research question is, are former college athletes more successful in their careers? Some existing research. So it was found that 90% of student athletes report having a positive impact on personal responsibility, teamwork skills, and work ethic. It was also found that a higher percentage of athletes also reported that college sports had a positive impact on their leadership skills, values and ethics, self-confidence, time management, and a commitment to volunteerism. Furthermore, research has, been, has favorably found uh, favorable findings for women. It was found in a study done by Ernst & Young that former female NCAA college athletes were more satisfied and felt more engaged in their work compared to other women and all men. It was also found that 52% of women executives played sports at the collegiate level. It was also found that 94% of women executives played sports either at the collegiate level or at the high school level. The EY study also found that former female athletes earned an average of 7% higher annual wages than non-athletes. It was also asserted that 77% of women executives believe that women who have played sports make great employees. Furthermore, a 1980 study wanted to find out whether athletic participation was a form of human capital investment. The study asked participants to, to send in their annual income six years upon graduation. In doing so, the researchers distributed, distributed their income, income earnings across nine different brackets. And it was found, according to the results, that athletes fell under a higher income bracket than non-athletes. Specifically, athletes fell under, fell under an average income bracket of 4.854, and while non-athletes fell under an income bracket of 4.6685. They also found that income among the average income among athletes was $19,270, while income of non-athletes was just over $18,000. Now some limitations to this study was that one, it was done over 30 years ago. So I want to find out what the real numbers are and what real income brackets and what their real annual incomes are today, in today's dollars. Another limitation to, to this study was that back in 1980, Title IX was not in existence, thus limiting uh, the ability for girls to participate in sports. To continue on, I plan on sending out a survey. I want to put real numbers to existing research. Existing research previously indicated that, that athletes feel that they have had a positive impact on their time management and their ability to solve problems. I want to find real numbers to those solutions rather than, than them just saying that, oh yes, I can better manage my time. So I plan on finding real quantitative numbers. I also hope to collect data about income levels among former athletes and non-athletes. I want to find a qualitative measure of leadership positions held by former athletes and non-athletes. And I also want to find quantitative numbers, quantitative uh, scale of career satisfaction and their ability to solve problems. I also plan to continue to dig deeper into existing research.
Thank you.